Okay, folks, uh, after getting a whole lot of requests from folks about uh, building them a frame, uh, I warned them, but they, they said they don't care. Either way, I started building some frames. Um, these are have some improvements over the old ones. Um, namely, you have all flat screws, so when you put your uh, Velcro, you're not kind of fighting the little bumps sticking up and down like that. Uh, number two, I've gotten... Uh, drill press and I've gotten straight on all my stuff so it's not crooked anymore. Um, this is basically a fiberglass um, four millimeter rod with a collar and it's not loose or wimpy or anything like that. We've got two holes drilled into it, one for the uh, closer, one farther away so depending on how you want your servo, if it's a long arm or short arm, how much it'll stick out. Um, it does fold and uh, I want to just go over a couple of things that I think people need to kind of know about building this and number one is attaching the motors a lot of folks are uh, wanting to use motor plates and they're wanting to use uh, fiberglass uh, carbon fiber all sorts of funky stuff so basically what we do at least I do. Put a little piece of two-faced tape, which should have been just a little bit bigger than that. Take a zip tie. Zip it. Make another one. Back side. Zip it. I cheat. Use. So, okay, I just mounted a motor. I mean, it's bending the stick when I move it. Now, the good thing about this is if you really hit hard, it'll usually snap and come off instead of busting your plate and busting everything else. Sorry about that. I just have this tightened up. So it snaps, it comes loose, it doesn't damage the motor, doesn't damage the, the shaft and all that. And also the dampening here with the wood arm and with the foam here gives you really, really smooth video. Um, as far as attaching a servo in the back, uh, I had a servo here somewhere. Here it is. It's kind of broken, but we're going to go with the high side up. Same thing, I'm just going to steal my tape. Sits about that far back. Either way, you want to line it up until your arm is kind of just barely behind the block here. This is kind of barely behind the block. And, uh, crap, I don't know if the camera's set right now or not. Then we're going to zip tie it the same way. One zip tie on top, one zip tie on the back. And you can take your control rod. And you're going to, basically you want to take and bend it. Usually I, I put a collet, you could put the actual connector on here. And then if I had this off the table, I'd measure down until I see where I need to make my L going in here. Make the bend. And you just basically slide it right into the hole in the back. Somewhere. This is threaded, so it's probably not going to go in. But unthreaded 256 rod will slide in nice and tight. So if uh, you're interested in getting this frame, I also have a few of the landing gear. If you want to mount the landing gear on it, you can do it front, back, wherever you want to put it. Uh, and also, if you're interested, I have a set of uh, boom arms. This basically comes with your back arm and your two front arms. Uh, those are 10 bucks for the set. Landing gear, six bucks for the set. Tricopter frame is $29.95 plus $8 shipping. And, uh, you know, as far as building it, if you want to build it yourself, by all means, please do. I built mine. I mean, I still have my original ones here that I cut with a scroll saw. I mean, not a scroll saw, but a, a, a jigsaw. And I did just a horrible job. But I, I've never broken these frame plates. I've only broken the arms. And mainly time, the only time you're going to break the arm is when you uh, come down and hit at an angle like that. But in a front-end impact, 
you're basically going to come in and it's going to collapse the arm back. Sorry about that. Collapse the arm back and usually does not break the arm. It can, but um, it's unusual. Then the other thing is you can sometimes break an arm when you're, uh, oops, when you smack the back. Here's, here's the, uh, sorry about the broken prop. I let a friend of mine fly this. But here's the setup on the back hinge. Um, this one's probably got about 20 hours on it, so it's got a little bit of play, but that can be fixed by putting another, actually tighten up my thing in the back might help. But either way, um, most of that's actually in the servo, if I'm looking at it right. The servo's actually moving. It's not really the play on the, on the actual pivot point back here. So, um, cool thing about these frames is you can play, place everything on top. Um, forgive me again, this frame has been through a lot of crashes. Um, and then the other nice thing is you can make your own foam cover to go over that. If I could find some EPP, I'd make it myself, but um, I couldn't find the EPP recently, so I had a pool noodle. I mean, literally the one with a hole in it. It's not really quite as cute, but you know what? It functions. It's light. And you use that padding you need for your board and all that type of thing. So when you do this, it's not going to damage anything, hopefully. Uh, watch it happen. Either way, um, so that's about it. Um, when I mount a camera on the front, I mount it up here. I put the battery on back. I think I said that in the video earlier. It works great. The videos are very, very smooth. Um, no vibration, at least at 720. I don't do a lot of 1080 vibe, uh, uh, video. You can mount your receiver anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, the board, I just put on with Velcro. And of course, it came hooked. Either way, um, Velcro on the board, Velcro on the battery, your little uh, foamy things here, and, uh, and zip ties, and it really makes a smooth little flyer. So give me a, a shout. If you want interest in the frame, just email me at matthall at bellsouth.net. And say I want a frame, and and I'll, I'll send you the PayPal address, which is Matt Hall, Bell South Net. But I want to make sure I have them actually built. I mean, I got a bunch of them over here, but you know, if they get gone. I may take a little while to get some of the parts and stuff. So um, I hope everybody enjoys the tricopters. These are absolutely a blast to fly over and above a quadcopter. It's got such a positive tail on the tricopter, and I think they just look cooler. And um, especially when you put the purple pool noodle and have that bad boy coming at you. I mean, that's just, that's not scare anybody. So either way, it's great. It's good for uh, orientation, and it's a great tricopter. So uh, give me an email. Thank you.